Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we're taking a look at this brand new 2023 Ford Edge. This particular Edge is an ST line model, finished in A8 black metallic. Now the ST line sort of sits in the middle of an SEL and also the ST gives you sort of the appearance of the ST, but also the sort of the features and some of the comfort of the SEL model. We're gonna take a quick walk around the outside starting with the front end where we do have the ST front bumper. Uh, so Ford does give you straight off the ST, the design of the front bumper has sort of a more aggressive look here. You also have these full LED headlights, which also includes the LED fog lights. Fully blacked out look here. We do have blacked out grill as well as the lower grill there. And we also do have the adaptive cruise control sensor in the lower grill. If we come around to the side, also with the ST line and unique to the ST line, we do have these gloss black aluminum wheels. It is a 20 inch wheel wrapped in a 245 50 all season tire. We do also have body colored mirrors as well as the body colored door handles. And we do also have the little ST line there on the side of the fender. The mirrors do include the blind spot uh, monitoring system up there in the corner of the mirror. We come on to the back end here. We do have these full LED taillights and also the rear parking sensors, which do go along the bottom of the bumper. And we do have the tow package. This is a class two trailer tow package. So it does include the four pin connector right there. We also have the rear view camera. And if we take a look at the interior of this ST line, we do have a completely unique interior for the ST line models. We do have these nice leather seats, but we do include the sort of Alcantara suede material here in the center of the seat. Keeps you kind of in place more when you're going around corners. It's also very breathable. Uh, so that's definitely a benefit and does include the red accent stitching. That's not only on the seats, but it's scattered throughout the entire interior. Now these seats here are fully power adjustable right here, and they're also heated driver and passenger. So they're very, very comfortable seats uh, with the ST line model. And if you take a look at the door panel, we have some sort of accent design here with the red stitching. We have a nice soft touch leather all throughout, as well as all of the power controls for the windows, mirrors, and of course your locks right up top. Lots and lots of storage there in the door. We do also have the ST line door sill plate, one on each side for driver and passengers. So that's a cool little effect there. We also have automatic headlights, the fog lights, and we also do have the trunk release just beside the steering wheel there, very easy to access. We step inside. Take a look at the key fob. So we do have a keyless fob, and that does include the remote start system, as well as the power trunk release. And push button start. And powering this Edge ST line is the two liter EcoBoost engine, which makes roughly 250 horsepower. And that is paired to the eight speed automatic transmission via this rotary dial shifter right down here and this model is of course all-wheel drive all edges are all-wheel drive at least here in canada but we start here on this nice leather wrapped heated steering wheel we do have the cold weather package so we do get a heated steering wheel with that package there and it also does have the red accent stitching so it's a nice nice looking steering wheel we do have controls right here for the left gauge cluster screen and also the right gauge cluster screen is controlled from these buttons so you have two sort of screens on each side the left one is for more vehicle information uh, like the trip and fuel information uh, fuel economy status as well as the driver assistance features and also all the various settings in here so you can control all that through the left screen and then the right screen is more for the entertainment and also the phone settings so you've got to scroll through those you can control all from that screen right there we also do have the cruise control system and the lane keeping is on the end of the signal stock here so you have a little button you can click and that will turn the system on or off right there we also do have the hands-free phone operation and also the volume buttons and right here in the middle, we do have Ford's Sync 4A display. This is actually a standard uh, screen that comes on all new edges. Uh, Ford did make this a standard feature for, for the edge lineup. Uh, it's a 12 inch vertically oriented screen. Uh, it's, it's definitely a new screen, <coughs> but Ford did a great job with the screen here. It's very easy to use, very intuitive. We'll start here in the top corner where this will pull up some of the like controls and the settings and that kind of things. So you have uh, all the phone settings, vehicle settings, general settings. We have vehicle hotspot. And then up here is some of your menus. You have the radio, phone. We also do have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, so this is used wirelessly, which is a little bit more convenient. You don't have to worry about fumbling around with a cable or anything like that. But we can also access through uh, those menus through these sort of quick actions down here. So currently we have the radio pulled up. 
which does include Sirius XM satellite radio. But if you want to access the phone, you can just click the phone right here and that will quickly pull up the phone. So it's very easy to use. The bottom section of the screen is designated to the climate control. Uh, so the climate control is always on the bottom here, so you always know where it is. And uh, it's dual zone. We also have the automatic function, so you can put on auto and just set it and forget it. We want to pull up a couple more settings here. We have that button. This will be able to change the direction of the airflow. You can also turn on the heated steering wheel through here. Uh, so again, very, very easy system to use. We also do have a wireless charger down here and also some wired USB connections. With the eight speed automatic, we do have the sport mode and we do have little paddle shifters here in behind the steering wheel, as well as the auto start stop system. And up top, we do have controls for the twin panel panoramic center, which is actually an option on the ST line model. Uh, so we do have that equipped here on this particular one. And if we take a look at the interior of this ST line edge, Again, with the ST line, we do have these sort of unique leather seats back here with that sort of suede insert. Very, again, very, very comfortable seats. We also do have a center armrest that we can flip down here to access some cup holders. We also do have a 150 watt sort of inverter outlet. So we can open that up and we can power basically anything with that outlet. And then we also have USB beside that. So we keep everything, everything charged up, no problem at all. It's also some additional storage. Of course, some climb events and we do get a nice view of that panoramic sunroof. But I do want to take you to the trunk area. Again, it is power operated. You can also use the key fob, or again, there's that button inside you can use as well. Now it is a height adjustable, uh, so you can actually adjust the height. Maybe if you're in a garage or something like that, you can actually make it so it doesn't go up quite as high. We do have a set of carpet and also rubber floor mats underneath. Uh, these rubber ones are floor liners, so they're actually contoured to the floor, uh, so it helps kind of keep spills and everything like that kind of contained. The carpet ones do have the little red accent stitching, so they are unique to the ST line model. Good looking carpet mat there. We can also drop the left and right seat from back here. Uh, so you can either drop the, the left or right. So uh, we'll give you an example. So we click right, we'll automatically flip the seat down. So you have to go around and do it. You can just do it right from here. And you can see with the seat down, there's absolutely an enormous amount of space back here. More space than you could probably ever need. There's also multiple like hooks back here. We also have a 12 volt connector, so you can kind of plug in like a cooler or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, lots of hooks, tiling down. But that'll pretty much do it for this video. If you're interested in this edge, it is for sale here at McPhee Ford. So feel free to give us a call or you can visit us at McPhee Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.